But we want to thank our patrons who join Patreon to support us, especially our Tier 3 patrons who get a really loud shout out. Jeremiah, Jeremiah Bruce. Bruce! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you. And Hannah, Hannah Whittemore. Whittemore! Thank you, Laura, Laura Lynn, Lynn Martin. Martin. Thank, Thank you, you, Paul Reed. Reed. Joanna Bolin. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And Snowman Vocals. Woohoo! Thank, Thank you, you so much for your support. Yep. This just in. It has been reported that Katie Lee and Will Ryan have offered this drawing to the 100th supporter on their Tell You Later patron page. After consulting with legal counsel and Mrs. Morrison's kindergarten class, they have learned that it's just not fair! Starting now, those signing up who be a Tell You Later patron at any level will be entered into a drawing for this amazing original Will Ryan drawing of Oli Oli Infrey. They are calling it a drawing for a drawing, and everyone on the street corner agrees it is totally fair. Hi, while Will is reading the New England Journal of Medicine, I'm here to say thank you so much for supporting us on Patreon.com. Uh, on all three tiers, we appreciate every single supporter. Uh, you can find us at www.patreon.com slash tell ya later. And if you enjoy watching us on YouTube, please subscribe, tell your friends, hit that little bell that'll give you notifications when our new episodes come out each week. And just know that we really, really, really want to say from the bottom of our heart, thank you. And thank you. Again. Don't forget to hit like. Don't forget. Don't forget to hit like. Mm -mm. Mm, do not forget to hit the like button. Don't forget to hit like right now. Hit it. But you know what? What? We haven't got a title song for this show, so we're singing this thing instead. Okay. It's really just a substitute. Nonetheless, the melody may stay in your head. Oh, I hope so. Cause it's a tune. It's a tune. You'll love to croon. You'll love to croon. Ah, but there's one thing you should know. We have to confess we do not possess a title song for this show. Ain't it peculiar? Believe it or not, we haven't got a title song for this show. Do that, Abu Duba. Oh, do that song. <laughs> the Duba Da Du Du Ba song. That reminds me of my doctor. I mean, my dentist. I'm the ding dong daddy of Abu Dhabi. Oh, okay. I love that song. Oh, we'll do that another time. Oh, let's see. Uh, I prepared a joke. Oh, you have? Yes. Okay, you have two ukuleles. Well, I have more than two, but I have Can two here today. Can you play them both at the same time? Yes. <laughs> really? Yeah. Not well, but That's I can do crazy. it. Crazy! Why do you have two of them? Uh, because uh, why not? Can and I look at it? I, I realized in future episodes, I'm going to teach some. Uh, this maybe this will be on the Patreon thing, but I'm going to teach somebody to play ukulele. Really? Yes. Could it be me? Yes. Oh. Oh, really? Oh, yes. I thought we had to like put our names in a hat. Oh, you could do that if you want. <laughs> and you'll draw my name out. <laughs> okay. I'll Luckily, I can yeah. draw. While you're telling your joke, I will write my name down so I can put. Oh, it speaking in a of hat. drawing, we have this drawing oh, that yes. I did last week. This is the one Will did last week. Oh, you didn't name him. His name's not Will Ryan. What are you going to name no, him? No, I signed it. I, signed I know it. he That's signed it. And for well, the I'll tell you later. I'll tell you later. To Patreon, we'll get this. And at yeah, just we'll know because we can count to a hundred. Yes. Beyond yes. that, anybody's guess. <laughs> right. but, Beyond that, we yeah. run out of toes. <laughs> Not toast. <laughs>
<laughs> yes. And that was one of the questions somebody was asked. It? What was so funny about Toast in I the don't know. first episode? That really cracked you up. It did. It was very funny at the time. And But there is something funny about the word Toast. Toast? Because you said, why did they spell it that way? Yes. Well, you know, they spell oat similarly. Oat. But they, they don't goat. spell... They don't Moat. spell... <laughs> But not, but not ghost. Or, but not most. And not totes. No. It's, it's, English is a very, very hard language. In fact, we should have English lessons in upcoming episodes. We could do that because yes. I'm a pretty good teacher. Yes, you are. I am, really. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I taught Will something once or mm-hmm. twice. Yes, she taught me uh, memory. I taught you how to record on your computer. You did. I did. Yes, using um, that site that begins with A or Audacity. some. Audacity. Yes. Can I say it? Audacity. Audacity. Yes. Audacity. I... Oh, the Audacity. Yes. <laughs> right. The Affrontery. <laughs> using that site called Affrontery. <laughs> yes, and and now you're very good at it. Um, well, yes, yes. Thank you. I, Thanks to you. He gets Thanks by. to you. Yeah, he gets right. by. Oh, that, that's another song we can't do on the show. We can't. I'll get by as long as I have you. Hmm. Okay. Though there be something and something too, I won't complain, I'll see it through. Poverty may come to me, it's true. Whoops, am I saying too much? Is it okay? But, so see, now there are two versions of singing, there are two versions of that, that classic you just song. I chanted a song at the beginning of this episode because you know we like to change you it know, up. I know at least one singer who did it that way. Really? Yeah, Tony Curtis. Oh. I'm a singer of songs. <laughs> I am a singer of songs. Right. Singer of songs. Can you sing- imagine a duet? Singer of songs. Sing us a song. Uh, uh, t- and then Tony he stands there. Tony Curtis and, and and William Shatner a duet. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that would have been great. That would have been great. That would be pretty funny. Yeah, I met both those guys. Really? Oh yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I used to hang out at the same place that Tony Curtis used to hang out. What a kind of place is that? It was that? A, a, a magazine publisher had a place ah, in Homeby Hills, and yes. he had parties every week. Very nice, polite parties and, and wonderful. And Tony Curtis was a regular in those days. And that's, that's and where he was in shape. And you met many people, Met probably. many people, yes. But I was surprised the first time I was there, because this is like a, a multimillionaire magazine publisher. And and I, I go there, and the people he was hanging and around at his table. And he invited you personally? Um, I, I was invited like, by one of the regulars. And, it's kind of uh, like how you join the Magic Castle. But then I had to be approved. Hmm. Yeah, I'm yeah. starting to see a pattern. <laughs> yes. Oh, right. Huh. You mean what? Uh, that I'm a member of these exclusive things? Yes. Like the Motion Picture Academy Through that you're people not? people <laughs> that you just happen to know. But yeah. probably didn't give any money to. No, not at all. No, you, no. they just liked you. No, what, what happened invited was... invited you because you play the ukulele? No, I, I don't know. It's just um, they thought this, this uh, guy would be interested in knowing me and really? vice versa. And so uh, I was asked to put my resumes together, which I did. And send him along. To go to a party? The, to, <laughs> to, Whoa. To become, yeah, to become a, a, you know, a regular person who could be invited. To and, the party. This is interesting. And, um, and he had a daytime secretary and an evening secretary. And the evening secretary was in charge of all the parties and things. And when I say parties, it was usually film screenings and things Soiree. like that. Well, and, Sorbet. Sorbet. <laughs> Someday. <laughs> Someday. I don't know. <laughs> Olan Sule. <laughs> Ken Sabe. <laughs> Kimo Sabe. <laughs> Kimo Sabe. Kimo. Did you ever know Olan Sule? No. Oh, I did. Someone uh, I know. Yes. No, but, and I've never made a souffle. He, he was a, a, a terrific actor, uh, and everybody would know him if they saw him. And, you know, one of those character actors, uh, ultimately. But he was a leading man on radio. Oh. And uh, we... I've heard his name. He, uh, he was out of Chicago as was one of the founders of AFTRA, with whom we worked in the Gummy Bears. Oh, uh, his name begins Michael with Rye? R. No, 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 no. no. Uh, Michael Rye would Michael. have been out of Detroit, right? I don't know. I thought he I was think. in New York, or because he was in radio. He well, was wherever Jack that, Armstrong was. Yeah, Jack, that was Michael Rye. Was that out of uh, New York, probably? Well. But Olan Soule was Mr. First Nighter. He wasn't the original Mr. First Nighter. The first one was... What does was, that mean? 
It was a radio it show. Means he got a... to go to the party without a resume. <laughs> <laughs> just I guess show so. Up he resume. just showed up on Mr. opening Bruce night. Schneider. But it was it was a radio show out of Chicago. I think every week was like a different play or mm-hmm. something, and that was it. And, and he got to star in it every week. And Les Tremaine was the first Mr. First Nighter, and he's the fellow with whom we worked in the Gummy Bears. Did we? Who yes. did he play? He played. He was a guest in one of the episodes. Oh. And at the end of it, I said, "Everybody, we just did an episode with." Les Tremaine, one of the founders of AFRA, and we all applauded him. Remember oh. that? It, it, and does it look like I remember? I wish I did. Yeah. I wish I did. Yeah. Maybe I wasn't there. But that must have been, I think it was first season. I remember June and Paul and everybody were there. I mean, June That Ferreira. was amazing, working on the gummy bears. Okay, so first, mm-hmm. the first show we ever worked on was Dumbo Circus, right? That we worked on together? Think? Yeah. I think so. After we met at Eric's Although I party. thought I had you come and visit uh, Welcome to Pooh Corner, but you don't seem to remember. I did visit. You did. Okay, yes. Okay. That's true. As I my did, guest, right? Yes, but yeah. I don't. I think we already did Dumbo Circus. No, no. No? No. <laughs> no. We didn't? Uh, Welcome to Pooh Corner was first. We did 126 of those. I, I know that, but I... Oh, you were doing it simultaneously? No, no. Then we were off for a few months, maybe even oh, six months. I did go to Pooh Corner. I remember you. Yes, you invited. Yeah, that and, was you, nice and you know where? You. Yes, and were we? Thank you. We were on with uh, Lori. Main. Lori Main you was there. Me to Lori Main and Hal who Smith, was the narrator. But I knew Hal. Yes. Hal and I worked on The Little Prince, Adventures oh. of the Little Prince, on oh, Nickelodeon. And ladies and gentlemen, The Little Prince. Well, first it was Julie Dees, actually, oh. Rick Dees' wife. So Julie I McWhorter take, Yes, Dees. Julie McWhorter. She was doing it, and she quit. I don't know if it's because she was having their son or just got hmm. tired. I don't know. So I tried to, we do, like, voice matching. I tried to come close, as close as I could, and I got the part. Hmm. And that was very interesting because that was dubbing without beeps. That was dubbing a oh. long time ago. Without the three beeps at the top? Yeah, I don't think we had. Beeps. That's crazy. We just had to watch People the always picture. had beeps, didn't they? I mean, even in the forties. I don't think so. Well, maybe it was it was Japanese to English. Bob Ridgely was on that show. Oh, really? You know, <laughs> maybe he ate all the beeps. Yeah, I don't know. But we, <laughs> he we was had, a regular at this guy's we, place later. Yeah, and he was he used to go to the Magic Castle too, didn't he? With Dave Madden? at the publisher's place. I mean, uh, uh, maybe. Pro- oh, yeah, I'm sure he did. I think yeah. So. Yeah. Anyway, okay, but, of, I, but I egress. Part of Davy's Navy? I egress, yes. Okay, mm-hmm. so anyway, uh, what was I saying? Anyway, what was I saying? or as we like to say, anyways. Anyways, um, Dumbo, oh yeah, so you so In certain did, parts okay, of the world. I know what I was saying. I was, trying to, I was trying to come up with a chronology. 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 Hmm. Beat that. Okay, so first Dumbo Circus and then Gummy Bears, maybe. Was that our next show we did together? Possibly, yeah. I'm trying to think. Um, but there might have been, in between, in there might have been... little short... What, what is that? Um, Glow Friends slash... Glow Friends. Uh, My Little Pony. My Little Pony. But I think... I, I mean, I was... I played th- three characters on Glow Friends, and I sang for two or three other characters. Hmm. Uh, and... Um, yeah, because he's I did, such a good singer. And I was also... As probably noticed... Mm, not on the, <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes, well, you know what? We never talked about uh, all, all my Wait, well, CDs and things like we that. We will. Let's okay. do that. Well, let's. Some other time. Okay. No, no. Yeah, I'll, you can tell that later. But okay. first of all, I so okay, gummy bears, and then when we did gummy bears, um, oh, so I was gonna say our first episode was we must have known been friends well because of Dumbo Circus because we used to work three days a week and when we came in. To that first session, it was like voiceover royalty, right? I mean, oh, first of of uh, gummy, gummy bears, bears, the adventures June of the gummy bears. Yeah, Paul Winchell, uh, you and Lorenzo Music, Lorenzo that up and coming voice guy. Lorenzo Music, who did Garfield's voice, and he, he was just a. But people don't under, know how right the voiceover people community is so rich because a lot of people just don't do voice like you write songs and and Lorenzo was a musician and he wrote the Mary Tyler Moore show right Lorenzo uh, co-created and co-produced Rhoda the, uh, Rhoda and then um, and he was a producer on the Mary Tyler Moore show and then he co-created and co-produced the Bob Newhart show. <sighs> 
such which, a great show. Yeah, yeah. Amazing. Fantastic. So funny, but he was yeah. very, he never was photographed. You could never see his whole face. He always got, took pictures with in, his In those face days, covered. at that point. Yeah. Now, a few years earlier, when I lived in uh, Cleveland, mm -hmm. uh, there was uh, the Lorenzo and Henrietta music show, which only I think it only lasted 13 weeks. But I knew a guy who was a writer on the show. And uh, and for that reason, I watched the show. No kidding. Yeah, yeah. It ran in Cleveland. You had a show in Qu Cleveland on TV, um, right? I was on a few shows there, yeah. Your own show? Mm, no, I don't think Wasn't so. Didn't Willie and we Filio did, have a show? We, we were regulars on uh, a magazine-style show called PM Magazine. Uh -huh. We did uh, local stories every week, and we were regulars on— You mean you didn't sing? Yes, we usually like like if somebody. So Phil Barron is the f filio mm -hmm. yeah. of Willio, mm -hmm. and, and filio. he also worked on Pooh Corner as Piglet. He did voices. Mm -hmm. and, and all uh, and, t and speaking of chronology, yes. all three of us worked on the Adventures of Teddy Ruxpin. That's right. Somewhere in there we too. Did Teddy Ruxpin yeah. together. So okay, so you got to watch. So you had a TV show. I thought you told me you had a TV show of your own. Um, we, and I had a radio show of your own, right? Yes. Yeah, we had a, a morning radio show. We, mm -hmm. we, did, we were regulars on three shows in Cleveland, one of which was every week. Now, and we had a, we had a pilot. We, we did a pilot shortly before we came out here. Ah. And it was a, a jazzy kind of a show. And, how, did you, uh, how did you get started? Can you tell started. me that? Started. Uh, yes. William and Filio um, <clears throat> first performed... I. I in the basement of a church, and um, wow. yeah, a lot Were of you stuff. In high school? A lot of no, uh, actually, Willie and Filio. Before that, were characters in a play that Phil and I were writing. Oh, and how did you before meet? that the graphic art? We school? met down a, in Ohio State. Oh, yeah. No, you're supposed to say, "Oh, you." Oh, you. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> I don't know because I'm not from Ohio. Yeah, all right. Yeah. But what's round on the end and high in the middle? Um, Oklahoma. Ohio. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> not to be confused with Iowa, which is skinny on one end and and fat on the other. I guess. Oh. Yeah. Round I, on I the know. end and high in the middle. I like that. Yeah. That's Devo. It is. Yeah, Devo That's one did of their that. Songs? One of their songs. Yeah. Jeez. They yell in the middle of it. What's round on the end and high in the middle? <laughs> really. <laughs> And a yeah. song. Well, what are the, they're from Akron, by the way. Oh, well, that's yeah, why. I know. I yeah. guess. Yeah. Did you know them? Um, I got to know uh, uh, two of them later, and because one of uh, well, them writes for everything now, right? Yeah, right. And I, Eagle, I'll tell you a story Eagle, about. Eagle, I think I'm the Eagle, first guy to interest him what's in. His name? Who are we Eagle talking dip? about? All no, not Eagle, Eagle Dip. dip. You know what? I'm getting the Devo. signal. That it's time to stop. The, 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 <laughs> what's his name? There are two brothers. Yes. Mark and they're is friends one. of Ma Mother's Ba. Yes. And they're friends of but, but, Kimmy. But we Robert have to go. Said, oh. We have to go. So, so what do you... Well, we'll tell all these stories later. I'll tell you about how I tried to convince him to write for a cartoon one time. Kidding. And yeah, no, okay. yeah. And um, So you what? So you what? So you what? So I'll what? So you'll Tell you later. That's right. Okay. Okay. Bye. Oh, yeah, I'm